Yes. And then there was, I saw a woman lying on the floor in Ch Chanel, so. Um, I, I didn't see him properly, I was running. But um, it's just, it was insane. It was insanity. I wasn't expecting it. What uh, that's about it. I don't know, some guy running around stabbing people. Seems pretty random. Probably a terrorist attack. Um, and we were just looking. Somebody was injured down there. We were just looking because everyone was looking to see what was going on. Then we saw all these people running towards us. And then we heard a shot. And my husband dragged us into the Adair's shop. And then we got the lady there trying to lock the doors. And then she couldn't lock the front door, so we went in the office, which was, which was all locked. And then we were in there until the police came to get us. Exactly when I'm stepping into the, that gate there, at the door, and people were coming out and screaming, like, stabbing, stabbing. So we were here, so we didn't go in, and then we were all here, and no, I was there, and the people were running, the, the, the people from outside. So we run all the way there, and we hide in meter 10, and they close and they put, we, well, they let them in, and they close the, the doors of their shops. We were like 20 people there. Baby in the stretcher going into the ambulance. And now I know it's a nine month old with a bandage in the arm and in the belly. And he was, he was like, not awake. Maybe he was, I don't know. He was not awake. Well, he looks like a girl. She looks like a girl. Yeah. And the mother? How was the mother? Oh, the mother was, was terrified. The mother was sad, just holding, like, comfort, comfort, comforting the baby. I was getting on, I was going, getting, coming home on the bus and just we were coming around the corner. I saw a, a fellow in a green and yellow t shirt and he was going that way, but then I saw him go the other way and I heard people yelling and screaming, running. So I said, okay, and there must be something going on. So I saw the yellow, uh, blinded a copper. So I, so I saw her and I followed her all the way upstairs up near there and I followed her. And just as we got to around the cor around the corner, because I saw them coming, just as we were coming around the corner, there he was. He just came in and just started floating towards us. And all I heard was put it down. And then um, she shot him. But we were not in fact, She didn't shoot him. Well, uh, he would have kept going. He was on the rampage. He was on the bloody rampage. And then, then she walked over and gave him CPR. Then was giving him CPR. So, and it had a nice big blade on him. So she chucked the knife away. And yeah. He looked like that he was on the killing spree on this side because when we come downstairs, there was another two bodies 
near the wedding near the wedding shop inside looked like they must have been stabbed. Just inside, one looked like a female and a male, but I don't know how many more was in the shop. But yeah, I'm um, just and yeah, I just I don't know how many more. And I just wish it was. I hope there was no kids involved or anything like that. But yeah, I saw um, people running like quite clearly in one direction and behind them um, was a man with a knife running towards different people. He was running up to them or, um, you know, trying to... I, I don't know what he was doing. But then um, we went into the gym because I was right outside that and we were trying to close the doors to the gym when we heard the gunshots, which um, I understand now were the police, but at the time we didn't know that, so I think, um, yeah... It's something you just you, you see about overseas. You are grateful we don't go through this in Australia. Um, but um, I, and I think a knife is one thing when it's a floor away from you and you can see it and it's not an immediate danger. But gunshots are a completely different thing, right? Because you don't know where they're coming from. They can get you from a distance. And so I think it is that that um, that certainly panicked everyone. And I think we all just raced back into the gym at the time, being like, what, "What's going on here?" Marcus, they want to do another hit. Do you want to do it here? They just said, run, 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 someone's being stabbed. And so we, we were inside Dior, they closed the doors, and we saw the guy come up the escalators, green shirt, I think shorts, um, with a big black knife in his hand. And just really calmly, he was just walking like he was having an ice cream in the park, you know? And, um, and then he went up the escalators at Zara, and then probably within about a, a minute, we heard three gunshots, and that was it. We were, we're just grateful because, like, literally two minutes before that, we were sitting right where it happened, where the first lady got stabbed. So, um, and I don't know, apparently she didn't, I don't know how she is, but, yeah.